After Chadwick Boseman's tragic and untimely death on August 28, 2020, many have begun to wonder what will happen to the role of T'Challa, aka Black Panther, once Disney and the MCU lifts its veil of grief. Now, it is possible that Disney might just decide to scrap any future Black Panther movies, but I honestly don't see that happening. Black Panther was such a huge cultural phenomenon. It not only gave us a superhero of color along with a strong black female presence, it showed that non-predominantly white cast movies can be hugely profitable and inspirational. So the question now is who is going to be the next Black Panther? The worst thing that could happen is if they tried to recast the role of T'Challa. Chadwick Boseman was in a lot of other movies, but his role as T'Challa the Black Panther is what he will be mostly remembered for. It is his legacy, and to give his role to someone else would be hugely insensitive. A lot of people on the internet are saying that they should bring back Michael B. Jordan's Killmonger character so that he can be the next Black Panther. But I just don't see how that makes any kind of sense, because let's not forget, Killmonger was a villain. He killed a lot of people, and they do mean a lot. Each scar on his body represents each kill he made, and the man is covered in scars. The role of the Black Panther is also closely connected to the kingship of Wakanda, so Killmonger can't be Black Panther because he is a terrible person. In the short time he was king in Wakanda, he killed many of its citizens and caused a civil war. There is literally no way the people would ever accept him as their king. The MCU is known to give villains redemption arcs, like what they did with the Winter Soldier and Loki, but even if they gave Killmonger a redemption arc, it doesn't mean he is fit to be the Black Panther and assume the leadership of Wakanda. Honestly, I think the only reason people would want him back is because he is a cool and suave guy who also happens to be really hot. But with that said, I wouldn't mind seeing Killmonger in the MCU again, but it just shouldn't be as the Black Panther. The only person I think should be the next Black Panther is T'Challa's sister Shuri. There are three main reasons why she is the right choice. But the major one is that it will stay true to canon. In the comic books, she becomes the Black Panther and assumes the leadership of Wakanda when T'Challa is indisposed. And she was great at it. She kicked the asses of all challengers with her mad fighting skills and earned the Black Panther mantle. The second reason Shuri should be the Black Panther is because as T'Challa's younger and only sister, she is next in line in the royal succession because T'Challa doesn't have any kids. It is her legal right to rule Wakanda and to be the Black Panther. That whole thing with inviting challengers to fight for the throne is merely a formality, although they are required to win against each challenger or face the possibility of losing the throne. But if there are no challengers, Shuri is a shoe-in to be the Black Panther and ruler of Wakanda. Killmonger too has royal blood, but he is not next in line to the throne. The third reason Shuri should be the next Black Panther is because after Tony Stark's death in Avengers Endgame, there is a void left in the MCU. We lost a beloved genius. Tony Stark is of course irreplaceable, but if Shuri becomes the Black Panther, we will have gained a new genius for the main cast of the MCU superheroes, who is tech savvy and can build some pretty awesome gadgets and weaponry. In the Black Panther movie, she already demonstrated she is more than capable when she acted as T'Challa's sidekick. But in the end, we'll all just have to wait and see what the big bosses at Disney and Marvel decide. But Shuri is a strong possibility for taking up the mantle of Black Panther. Weirdly enough, some people have even thrown Mbaku's name in the ring for the role of Black Panther. I would love to see more of him, but again, even though he is not a villain like Killmonger, I just don't think he is the right fit for the role. Let me know in the comments below who you think should be the next Black Panther and why.